Hello everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to load a CSV file to an Excel workbook using Power Query. So as you can see, I've got a blank workbook open with me and I go to the Power Query tab. So it opens the interface for me. Now I already have a CSV file here, which I want to load. So I'll just, I've got this product category file, which I've got open on a notepad. So if you look at this, I've got uh, the contents of the product category file, a category ID, uh, the parent category ID and the category description. So category ID is a unique ID, which is given to any category. Parent category is the category ID of the parent. And then we've got the category description. For example, bikes is the top category, so it doesn't have a parent, but touring frames is not the top category and it has a parent of components. So uh, that's why we've got the second column on this row filled and pointing to components. Now let us try to load this file uh, into the Excel workbook. Let me open the Excel workbook. I go to the Power Query tab. I've already got Power Query installed for uh, this video. You might want to install it if you don't have it. Um, so I go to From File and I go to From CSV. And so I'll just point it to C data folder and select the file that I want and click OK. So as you can see, the Power Query is going to open a Power Query editor and load the required data into the Power Query editor. So you can see that my data has been loaded into the Power Query Editor and uh, these are the steps that Power Query has done. So this points to the location that it is getting the data from. And then this is where it's just made the headers. And then it's where it's saying or uh, checking on the data types for each of the columns and uh, associating a data type with that column. So I've got the data in the required format and I just click on close and load and Power Query will upload the data onto the Excel workbook. So as you can see here, you can click edit to open the Power Query uh, window again. And uh, you can click refresh to uh, refresh the data, which already on. So as I've already got the data, I will just keep that looks good to me uh, thank you everyone for watching this video and i hope it was useful to you